Welcome to the Statistic MD YouTube channel. I'm starting a new series today called What Can Go Wrong in R. So usually in these presentations I show you packages, tricks, functions that work like a charm and where it's really fun to use them and everything works perfectly. So that is of course not always the case in real life. You will run into error messages and you will not always know where these error messages come from and how to deal with them. So today's video is about an error you may run into when using dplyr's select function. You may get this error message, error in select unused arguments. And it can be very disturbing because the exact same code can behave differently in different situations. And sometimes it will throw this error and sometimes it won't. So let's see how this can happen and why this may happen and how we can solve it. So let's start with a simple use case. We're loading the dplyr package. And then for the sake of reproducibility of this example, I'm using the infamous empty cars data set. And I apply the select function. We select three columns or variables from this data set and display the first six rows of the data using the head function. So that's a very simple use case of select. It works like a charm. And on the next slide, we'll see that the exact same code can fail in a different situation. So how can that happen? Here um, in the bottom, we're using the exact same code as on the previous slide, but before that, we read something maybe about the Boston data set. It's used in a number of machine learning examples, and the nice thing is it's built in a base R package, the mass package, so you don't need to download the data from anywhere. So I just wanted to look at the first two rows of this data set before continuing my work on empty cars and using the select function. But now, I get this error message at the bottom using the select function, error and select unused arguments, and it gives me the names of the columns or variables. So there's no typo in this code. It's really the exact same code as before, but now it fails with this error message. So how could this happen? <clears throat> Let's have a look. On the previous slide, I didn't show you the startup message when I loaded the mass package. So I will do that here. First, I unload the package using detach and the argument unload equals true. And then I load the mass package again. And now we get the startup message attaching package mass. The following object is masked from package dplyr select. So what does that tell us? Well, there's a select function in the dplyr package that we are familiar with and that we want to use. But there's also a select function in the mass package. And now the rule in R is that the package that is loaded last takes precedence. So now that we loaded the mass package after we loaded dplyr, um, the select function from the mass package gets precedence. And the select function in the mass package is designed for a different purpose and behaves differently and expects different arguments. So that's why it failed on the previous slide. So now we have an idea what caused our error, but how can we prevent it or how can we deal with it? Well, there are several solutions. So as I said, if we don't take any other precautions, the rule in R is that the order in which we load packages is decisive. This is a bit tricky, of course. So the package loaded last takes precedence. So what we could do as a simple solution is to load all the packages at the start of our script and make sure that we get the order right. So we won't always have name conflicts, but for the functions where we do get name conflicts, this um, is decisive. So here in this use case, it would mean to load the mass package before dplyr or tidyverse. So we need to load tidyverse um, or dplyr after mass to make sure that the select function takes precedence. A better solution is to be more explicit about which package should take precedence. So there are also several solutions to do that. I have two in mind here. So one is to use the so-called double colon notation. So in Instead of just typing select, we can be more explicit and type dplyr double colon select. And then this works charmingly, even if we haven't loaded the dplyr package. Of course, it must be installed for this to work. But here we make it very clear where the select function shall be taken from. And then it doesn't matter in which order we load its packages. The downside of this approach is that it may become tedious when we use the dplyr select function very often, then for each use case, we would have to specify the dplyr package to be so explicit. So another solution that uses an external package but reduces the amount of typing we need to carry out is 
the conflicted package. So we can use that at the top of our script. So you see a code snippet at the bottom of the slide. We load the conflicted package using the library function, and then we specify conflict prefer the name of the function and the name of the package. And then the conflicted package gives us a message. We'll prefer dplyr select over any other package, so not only over Mars. So this is another solution that we can use. Um, choose the one that serves your purposes best. I hope this was helpful. Um, I think the main step here is really to know where the error message comes from, because if you don't know, it can be really hard to determine what caused the error. I hope this was helpful. All the best for your own data analysis projects and for your debugging adventures. Don't get frustrated. Um, no one can avoid errors completely. They haunt us all. Let me know in the comments which error messages have troubled you or troubled you currently to give me ideas for future videos. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Check out my other videos. All the best. See you next time. Ciao.